Hello, and welcome to this episode of Psychic Medium Tony G. I'm so excited and honored to be here with you. First and foremost, I want to thank WSCS, Scott, Rich, Ron, Sarah, and Rob, because two of my shows won awards in the Midwest Media Awards thing. <laughs> I can't think of the name of it, but the Midwest Media Awards. And uh, Create a Life You Love won an award, and Psychic Medium Tony G won an award. And none of this is possible without these guys. I just sit here and uh, I just basically show up. They do all the work behind the scenes and provide the venue to do this. So I cannot explain how honored and grateful I am to have won that award and to have won it with the most amazing, kindest, most loving people on the best station there is. So thank you guys so very, very much. This is Psychic Medium Tony G. I can now say award-winning show. Can I say that? I can. I think I can. Okay, enough about that. We're here today because people have questions or they want to make connections to loved ones on the other side. If I click and say your area code, please give me your name and where you're calling from and then let me know what question or connection you want to make. Remember, my phone line is always full and I try to get to as many people as possible while being compassionate and taking time with your question. I'm gonna to go to the very first caller right now, and that is 347. Hello, 347, how are you today? Hi, I'm doing really good, how are you? I'm excellent, thank you so much for asking. How can I help you? Basically, I'm going back and forth between two um, offers I have received for a uh, housing situation. So whether to go with housemates that would be three girls, or how could that would be three, um, three women and three men, or three men? A better option for me? Okay, let's just call them option A. Pick, pick one. You don't have to tell me which one is option A. And then give the other one the title of option B. And did you do that now? Did you figure out which one is option A and which one is option B? Just a sec. Okay. I'll, I'll sit here and wait. Okay. Got it. You got it? Good. <laughs> Good. Okay. So you know which option in your head is option A and which option in your head is option B, correct? Yes. Okay, perfect. I'm hearing you need to go with option B. It's more of a long-term resolution. It's going to be a better fit for you, and you're going to feel much better once you're in that situation. Option A is gonna be a little bit complicated. It is going to have some, they're using the term malfunctions to it. So as you picked A and B, they're saying that option B is the best choice for you at this time. Okay, sweetie? Okay, got it. Excellent. Thank you so much for calling in today. I am so happy I was able to help. Yeah, thank you so much for your help. Absolutely. Have my, a great day. You too. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so if I say your area code, please take your phone off of speaker. We don't, nobody wants to hear background noise. And keep that phone to your mouth while we're talking just so we can get some clear audio for you. Thank you so much in advance for doing that. 415, 415, what's your- Hey, Tony. Uh, hey, how are you? Hi, I'm great, how are you? I'm good, who is this and where are you calling from? Jessica, New Jersey. Hi, Jessica, how can I help you today? Hi. So I spoke to you maybe three or four weeks ago, and you were helping me get over some stuff about putting up an event. So I put up an event. I was really excited about it. I promoted it for like a week, and then I lost energy around it. And then I wasn't promoting it for like two, three weeks. And then I was just saying to Spirit, hey, I think I'm going to just take down the event, or um, you know, I don't know if I'm really going to do it. And then yesterday I was feeling like, Hey, it feels like somebody, people are going to sign up last minute. And then yesterday someone signed up 
Mm-hmm. And now I'm like into it. And now the idea is like, okay, let's sell 20 tickets within a couple of days. So does any support you can offer with that? It's sort of been an interesting journey. <laughs> okay. So the first thing I want to tell you, marketing, 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 like it doesn't take a psychic to say people don't typically sign up on for things on their first seeing of it. If you sign up for something, it's typically because you have seen it a couple of times and you've decided to see it. And and statistically, research for marketing says a person needs to see something six times before they sign up for it. So if you had taken that original marketing and every single week posted it twice, you'd be sitting in a very solid place right now, okay? Just for the future and future events, just remember those statements. We can ask spirit to do everything, but if we're not putting in our part and putting it out there for people to see, there's only so far spirit can go with it too, right? Our angels can only do so much, I'm just saying. So your event is gonna be okay no matter what, go through with this and just promote the poop out of it from this moment forward. Okay. How many weeks out? Oh, that's interesting that you're saying. How many weeks out is the event from now? No, it's actually just a few days. Okay. Um, it's just, happening over the weekend, but Spirit's actually been telling me to sort of chill out because when I do that heavy promotion, mm-hmm. it ends up putting me in like a frustration state. Yeah. Well, so they're sometimes, telling me just to kind of. Sometimes yeah. we just need to get past that frustration state. Don't look for the result, but you definitely need to do the work of it. Everything, for everything that you see in marketing, it's already been posted how many times that you have missed it. So you have to make sure, you don't bombard people, but you have to put it out there at least twice a week if you want to get a certain percentage of people to see it. So, although you've been frustrated, you have to, that's something that you personally have to work through to get to that point where you can put these out there. You know, I, you know, the book The Secret was a good book, but I wish I could burn every single freaking copy of it. Because people now believe they just put something out there and magically the universe is going to drop everything on them. There's work behind everything we do. There's intention behind everything we do. There's belief behind everything we do. We have to be in that place where we're co-creating with the universe. This doesn't happen without us. It doesn't happen without our work. It doesn't happen without our input and our uh, belief systems and energy. Your energy with other energy makes this happen. So right now, I'm just going to clear. There's something blocked. Yep, we're just going to clear this. And hopefully, I want you to just, no matter how it makes you feel, promote your event and get over it. It's like saying, I don't know if I should invite this person to my birthday party because they might not come and then I'll feel rejected. Get over it. Send the invites. Okay, sweetie? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you. You're welcome. I hope this was helpful and I hope you have an amazing, amazing, amazing event. Okay, we're going to go straight to the next caller. And you know what? Sometimes, folks, I'm, I'm going to tell you something. I know that sometimes, oopsie, I know, th- I know that sometimes I say things that people don't like to hear. It's just a part of life. I get it. It's very frustrating. I've put on events, and they're very difficult to get people to show up for until you're very well known. So you have to pick the seeds until you get the fruit. That's all there is to it. And there's nothing anyone can do about that. Everybody who is well-known now 
They're well known because they did the, they worked in the trenches until they were out of the trenches. You just have to keep going no matter what. In my own city, somebody will come up to me and say, what do you do? I'm like, oh, well, I have a radio show. I have two TV shows. I have five books. And they're like, oh, you're famous. I go, apparently not because you, <laughs> you don't know who I am. I'm never recognized on this street. You just have to keep working it until it works you. That's the bottom line. Hand, hand to God, I'm just going to tell you, Steve Harvey didn't start out famous. None of those people started out famous. You have to work it until it works you. That's the bottom line. Okay, 484. Hello, how are you today? Hi, thank you for taking my call. This is uh, Conette calling, and I'm calling from Philadelphia, PA. Oh, hello, East Coast. Tonette, I love that name. So, how can I help you today? I'm uh, calling because I need a, a question regarding my love life. Um, I really need to know um, if and when you see Desiree actually coming and moving into my home to live with me. Oh, okay. So, Tonette, um, you need to have a very honest conversation with Desiree. She's waffling back and forth. She's not sure this is the strongest possibility for her. I don't know if that makes sense to you. I get the sense that she's stringing you along, and I don't know if she's stringing you along intentionally or unintentionally, but I can tell you, as it sits right now, she has no solid plan to pack anything. Does this make sense to you? Um, yes, yes, it does. It does make sense to me. And um, I just didn't know if you saw her coming to a final decision because um, everything you said was correct. She does see her back and forth and this and that and that and this. Yeah. And I'm a Virgo. I'm a very grounded um, earth sign, and we like to have stuff in, in place, and she's an Aquarius, she's an air sign, so I'm just trying to really get a firm yeah. grip on this, whether or not she's going to be coming or not coming, and I didn't know if you could see into the future to see what she actually is going to decide and do. Okay, if I'm being completely honest, I'm trying to be very gentle about the way I say this, but if I'm being 100% honest, she, her plans right now, she's, she has no plans to pack anything. And she is not going to change those plans. She's kind of stringing you along. She gets a great benefit from whatever you're doing for her or providing for her, but she has no plans of, of packing anything up and going any place. So uh, if I were you, I would, again, I'm going to say this, and I can't be more direct or more honest with you, I would have a very honest conversation with her and give her a deadline. And that deadline needs to be sooner, not later. Do not give her 30 more days or 60 more days. Say, listen, now or never. And if she says it's the pressure of that statement, that's not true. Anybody who has the intention of coupling up is ready, willing, let's go. She's been dragging her feet and stringing you along for a while. It's time for you to get into a place where you're honoring you and not letting her call these shots any longer. Does that make sense? Okay. Okay, sweetie. I'm sorry that this is the news, but I will tell you, I know that people don't always want to hear this right away, but June, July shines for you for meeting new people. Having new people come into your life, June and July absolutely shine for you. Even love aspects are very strong for you in June and July. So if you kind of start fading this away for you, because it really, it's not going to go in the direction you want it to go in. So if you fade this away now, by June, you're going to meet somebody phenomenal, okay? Okay. Excellent. Well, I hope this was helpful, even though it wasn't um, what you necessarily wanted to hear. Okay, 
Well, thank you. You're so welcome. Have an amazing rest of the day. You too. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to go directly to the next caller. And before I do that, I want you to know that if you call in now, you can still get through. And the number is right there. The number is 858-365-5593. You, can, you have a chance of getting through. And I'm going to go to 646 right now. Hello, 646. How are you today? Hey, how are you? And thank you for taking my call. Absolutely my pleasure. How can I help you? Okay, so there has been some change. Well, there was a post at all. Wait, 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 sweetie, 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 sweetie. It's very gargled. Are you on speakerphone? Um, yes, I just took you off. Are you on speakerphone? No, not anymore. Okay, so what's your question? Okay, so I just wanted to see what changes do you see at my current job? We had a meeting this morning. I work five days a week. It's at a call center. Um, it's not my career job. So um, the supervisor is saying now they're supposed to cut our hours. By, instead of working five days, we may be, uh, we may be allowed only to work four days. Okay. But I keep seeing my resume in my face. <laughs> so just wanted to see what you think of all that. Okay, so I, I do see that they are going to be cutting hours, and they're going to be cutting them more than what they're saying. So if you definitely need those hours, it's time for you to start looking someplace else. I see that some people might go down to three days a week. I don't know how many wow. people I don't know how many people are going to go down to three days a week, but I am hearing three days a week for some people. Um, if you feel like that's not a good fit with you, you're definitely going to want to start looking at something else. But if you feel like that's fine and you can handle that, now I will tell you they will start taking days back up again, but it's going to be four or five months before they do that. Okay? Wow. Okay, I hope this was helpful, sweetie. I hope this was helpful. That's very helpful. Wow. Okay, well, that's, that's fine. Wow. Oh, okay. I'm just shocked. Okay, it is. You. But, but you know what? It's better to know so that you can make the moves, the appropriate moves that you need to make, and then go from there, right? Okay. So that was... Uh, interesting it's always interesting when we get news at work and how we handle it and what we do with it right now I'm gonna to go to the next caller 310 hello 310 how are you today hi my name is Brittany I'm calling from um, California hi Brittany how can I help you Hi, so my question is, I recently um, had a heart-to-heart -heart talk with my boyfriend about moving things forward as far as our relationship is concerned, and I wanted to know um, what you're picking up or what he's thinking and feeling about um, the conversation we had and how he wants to move forward. Okay, he, yeah, he has been dragging his feet a bit. I'm going to tell you he's going to continue to drag his feet just a little bit. He's not ready for as much of a commitment as you are. He wants to be in a space that allows him to be, he, he, he might be a little, I don't want to say he's a commitment phobic, but he's waiting for one thing to get in place before he decides the direction he wants to go with everything. Um, in June, he's going to give you some information that will help you decide what you want to do and how you want to proceed. Now, let me ask you, Brittany, how long have the two of you been together? For two years. Okay. I, you know, I'm going to tell you, 
And how old is he now? He's 43. I am going to say this. Now, he has the right to change this at any point that he wants to. I keep hearing 48 is going to be the time when he's really ready to settle down and be in that space of uh, cohabitating and extremely committed to somebody. And, and it's not that he's out there looking around. It's just that he's not ready to take that very, very next step quite yet. He will be. I think in June you're going to hear something, and then in six months you're going to get more information on this, but he is going to take his time about it. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, and that's what I need to know because I'm at an age where I want to have children and have a family, and I just don't want to continue to invest my time if he's not at the same place because I don't I don't have much time. You yeah, know? I'm going to tell you, he's not sure about all of that. He is in a place where he is very content with the way his life is. He's very content with everything going on with him. That's a really big, huge commitment that he's not sure he wants to make at this time, especially the children aspect of it. Um, I just hear been there, done that. I feel like you know, it, in June, you're going to hear something that will let you know the direction he wants to go. And then in six months, he's going to take an action on the direction he wants to go. So if you can give him a good six months from now, you might be pleasantly surprised. But don't expect him to give you verbal confirmation on anything at this time and point. He's, he is okay. going to drag his feet just a little bit on this. Okay, love? Okay. All right, so do you think I should just let it go? I can't, I, I, can't, I can't tell you what to do with your life. I wish I could tell people what to do with their lives. I wish somebody could tell me what to do with my life sometimes. Um, if you can invest... I just don't have time, you know? Well, you got, I'm you've, got, be you've got six months, right? Over the next six months, you're not going any place, right? Okay. You've got six months. Okay, so in June, you're going to get some information from him regarding where he is on this and how he feels about it. And then within six months, you're going to get, he's going to take an action toward that, okay? Okay. All right, thank you so much. I really appreciate your help. You're so welcome. And remember, even if you met somebody else right now, it's not like you're going to meet somebody and, and put a bun in the oven right away and be on track. Right. By the time you meet somebody who's a good candidate, who's willing to move forward, and, and you guys get to know each other and get engaged and, and get married and then put the bun in the oven, which is probably the order in which you want to do things, um, right. it's still going to take like a year to two years so I would say over the next six months, be very clear about what you, your end goal with this gentleman, and then it, he's going to take an action within six months that'll let you know, okay? Okay. All right. Thank you so much. I, I appreciate it. You're so welcome, and you have an amazing rest of the week. You too. Thank <laughs> Bye -bye. you. Bye-bye. Okay, so a little bit of news I want to let you know is that I am now almost done with my sixth book, which is entitled, well, I think it's going to be called What If? <laughs> so I have to do a title search on that and make sure that that title is not being used by anybody else, but that's my title right now, What If? And it's... I just love this book so far. It's being channeled, and I just, I'm so excited to get this on pages and get it out there. I have time for one more person, so I'm going to go to 360. Hello, 360. How are you today? Hi there. This is Holly from Seattle. Hey, Holly. How are you? How can I help you? I'm good. I'm just seeing when you see a new man in my life. 
Okay, Holly, you know what? It's going to be a bit of time for you. Now, here's what I want to tell you. Summer is going to be a lot of fun. I see you going on dates with a couple of different people and really enjoying that. Uh -huh. But I'm going to tell you that in the fall, and I hear September, and I feel like it may even be at a wedding, you are going to meet somebody quite phenomenal, somebody who really kind of even just takes your breath away a little bit. So September oh. or in the fall, start paying attention around August. But as soon as we hit September, you're going to have that feeling. We get that feeling when we're going to meet somebody. We know like we know like we know. And right around that yeah. September time, you're going to get that feeling like you're really antsy. Anything, anything you are invited to in September, make sure you go to it. Make sure you attend. Also, make sure you look cute and make sure you're looking to see who's looking at you. It's very difficult for guys to approach a woman. So make sure that if you're out there, if a guy is looking at you, smile back. Give him that eye saying, it's okay to come over and talk to me. And from there, you are going to meet somebody phenomenal. I do feel like this is a wedding. I absolutely feel like I get very, I hear wedding, somebody up above up is, is helping to put this together for you. And I feel like this is going to be like a kismet. I, I, it's just going to be kismet. Okay, sweetie? Okay, thank you. You are so welcome. And if, if I just, I have to say it one more time. They always repeat things that are really, really important. Anything you are invited to during the month of September, make sure you attend. And I want to hear from you after you go to this. Okay. Thank you. Have an amazing rest of the summer, Holly. Okay, I want to thank you so much for joining me today on this episode of Psychic Medium Tony G. And I want to take another moment to thank Rich and Ron and Scott, who are so super amazing and just the most wonderful people I could have ever, I could have never imagined working with better people than this and WSCS, because without them, this show is not possible. And the award that I won would not be possible. They do all the hard work, all the heavy lifting to make this show look really amazing and to come off much better than I can. <laughs> Absolutely, positively. So thank you, all of you, and Sarah, too, and Rob. Thank you so much for everything you guys do to help with this show. I will be back with another episode of Tony G., Psychic Medium, please watch Blog Talk, Talk Radio to know when that episode will be happening. I always post it. Follow me here. And you can also see past episodes on WSCSSheboygan.com. They have a video on demand center. Just go there, watch the shows. If nothing else, they are a lot of fun to watch, especially the Create a Life drinking show where I'm dressed like an elf. I don't think anything else needs to be said about that one. <laughs> okay, thank you again for joining us here today. I hope this show was informative and helped you to understand guides and angels just a little bit better. Until the next show, have an amazing, just love-filled life. Bye for now.